The Department of Defense is modernizing its implementation of the Defense Acquisition Workforce Improvement Act to better align its acquisition workforce resources. The updated certification framework will significantly empower the workforce with options to be more flexible, agile, and mobile. The engineering and technical management functional area merged three career fields, engineering, science technology management, and production, quality, and manufacturing, in addition to some workforce members from the information technology career field. As the largest acquisition body in the Department of Defense, this new functional area includes over 72,000 workforce members. ETM acquisition professionals serve in a wide variety of roles from designing software, weapon systems, and structures, to conducting scientific research, to overseeing quality assurance efforts in contractors' manufacturing facilities. The creation of ETM provided a blank canvas upon which to establish a modernized certification framework. After extensive collaboration with technical leaders across the services, Fourth Estate, and the Office of the Undersecretary of Defense, the ETM Working Group made a strategic decision to streamline the traditional three levels of certification into two tiers, Foundational and Practitioner. The Foundational certification requires one year of acquisition experience, while the Practitioner certification requires four years of relevant acquisition experience. The most significant change within the ETM construct is the training curriculum. While there are no education requirements for certification, training requirements still exist. A new approach was adopted to minimize mandatory core certification training. Anchored by nine common competencies identified by the functional area as integral to a cohesive acquisition knowledge base, 18 new courses were created. All nine competencies are embedded in both certifications at different proficiency levels. By incorporating a modular design, each of the new virtual courses can be completed between two hours and two days and all of the online courses are self-paced, which allows individual workforce members more control over their career learning trajectory. Acquisition workforce members will retain their previously earned Defense Acquisition Workforce Improvement Act certifications. Additionally, a plan is in place so that previously earned certifications at any level in engineering, SNTM, PQM, and IT may satisfy the ETM functional area certification requirements. So, after transitioning into or becoming certified in the new construct, what's next, you might ask? What can be done to maintain currency in the ETM functional area? One recommendation is to pursue credential training opportunities. The Defense Acquisition Credential Program provides knowledge and associated skills to perform job-centric, niche, and or emerging functions in the DoD acquisition environment. Credentials enhance specific skills and improve performance in your workplace. Whether you manage capability requirements, acquire services, or sustain capabilities, earning credentials can build your competence, confidence, and value to your organization and the DoD. Credentials also provide opportunities to deep dive into specialized topics. They link similarly themed learning assets to ensure the workforce has the skills they need to pursue future opportunities. While initial credentials have been launched, future credentials are being planned for specific ETM-centric topic areas including systems engineering, software engineering, mission engineering, quality assurance, digital engineering for the technical workforce, science and technology management, secure cyber resilient engineering, and manufacturing engineering. The intent behind credentials is to allow defense acquisition workforce members access to just-in-time training deemed critical for targeted projects and career development. Empowerment is critical to leverage innovative thinking as the workforce equips the warfighter at the speed of relevance.